Dundee looking to protect the last unbeaten league record in Britain. And they did it, stretching their run to 13 games without defeat. The first chance of this one came in 10 minutes for Dundee. An Airdrie slip up at the back, Jack and Hay unable to clear. George Shaw rounding keeper Martin, crossing for Neil McCann, but he just failed to connect. It was Airdrie who had the best chance to break the deadlock just before half time. Good work from Kenny Black, beating his man and threading the ball through to Paul Harvey. But with only Pago to beat, he sliced it past the post. The home side were now on top, the cross from Lawrence, and no Blake coming close to scoring an own goal. But at half time, there was no scoring. Although the Diamonds keeper John Martin lipped off at half time, he was replaced by Willie McCullough. And the youngster was tested almost immediately. John McQuillan firing one just wide of the post. And then the breakthrough after an hour. Substitute Andy Smith doing well to play it to Paul Harvey. His run and cross lashed into the net by Tony Smith. 1-0 to Airdrie. There was a nasty moment midway through the half. Kenny Black and Jim Duffy providing more entertainment than a Chris Eubank fight. Referee Les Mottram sorting it out, although he had to tread carefully. Black was booked, no other action was taken. Dundee now pushing for the equaliser. But Neil McCann's challenge here giving Airdrie a free kick in a dangerous area. It was quickly taken by Jimmy Boyle, Andy Smith heading past Pago to make it 2-0 for the Diamonds. And they came this close to making it three. Kenny Black denied by keeper Pago. Consolation for Dundee came in the shape of a late goal. Jerry Britton getting his 15th of the season. 2-1 with six minutes remaining. The fight back was on, but Jerry Britton took the words too literally. Bearing down on goal, he followed through on keeper McCullough. The Dundee striker was sent off. The yellow and the red card produced by referee Mottram. Three points for Airdrie. Yeah, you know, I think the most important thing to do was to get the three points and get ourselves ahead of Dundee and give us a chance to go top the table on Tuesday. But from a personal point of view, you know, it's, it's nice to get in a goal.